Imam Ali Naki Alislam. His mother was Samana al Maghribiya. His kunyat is Abu Abu al Hasan al Askari. Uh, his title is Al Hadi, and he was born in Medina in the year of 212 after Hijri. He uh, his martyrdom is that he died of poison in 254 after Hijri in Samara in Iraq and is buried there. Imam Ali Naki al Islam is known as Hazrat Hadi. Was born in the mid of Zilhij. In 212 Hijra, in the vicinity of Medina, at a place known as Surya. His father is Imam Muhammad Taqi al Islam. His mother, Samana, was a maid with excellence, virtue, and piety. Imam Ali Nagi al Islam got the post of Imamat after the martyrdom of his father in the year 220 after Hijri. Although he was not more than eight years of age, yet he was the focus and attention of Shias and the Abbasid Caliphs who were extremely scared and afraid of him. They set their hands to his exile and his torture, such as Mutawakkal, who had brought the Imam from Medina to Samara, and he stayed there till the end of his life. The Imam al Islam was unique in ascetism, devotion, and prayers, so that when the agents and officials of Mutawakkal attacked his house, they saw him busy praying in a simple room. He had great attachment and affliction with the Holy Quran. Whenever he was free from work of the people, he would recite Quran. He conducted people with smiling and bloomed face, and when he walked, he took slow steps. He attended and helped the afflicted ones. Sometimes he would grant up to 30,000 dinars to have to help the needy and problem-stricken people. So that when Mutawakal sent 30,000 dinars for him, he gave all of it to the needy and po to a needy and poor Arab. The mother of Mutawakal had become fascinated by the devotion and ascetism and faith of Imam Hadi al-Islam. On the day when Mutawakal had fallen ill, his foot was injured and the physicians were unable to help him. His mother sent Fatah bin Qaqan to the Imam's house and request to request a medicine for him. The Imam recommended a medicine to him by which Mutawakal was treated and cured and all of the physicians were astonished by it. His mother sent 1,000 dinars as a grat gratitude in connection with his being cured. He distributed all of that money among the afflicted ones. Although the Imam's period of life was coinci coincided with seven of the Abbasid Caliphs, yet the hardest period of, of his life as that of the Khilafat of Mutawakkal, because he was a fame fan, wicked, and faithless person. If he posed to be religious, that was only in view of his promoting his political cause. In the year 226 Hijra, Mutawakkal ordered that the grave of Imam Hussein al Islam be washed away by diverting the river and the place be plowed for ag agriculture so that the people may be deprived of visiting the martyrs of Karbala. Unseen AIDS One day, uh, one of the flatterer, flatterer and Glib tongued persons said to Mutawakal, Why do you command your court officers to honor the Imam when he arrives and that they must raise the curtains and open the doors for him? This itself is against your conduct. Let the Imam al Islam come and go like the rest of the people so that he loses his worth in the eyes of the people. Mutawakal agreed to his demand and ordered his officials not to hold the curtains and open the doors while the Imam comes or leaves. One day, one of the servants came rushing to him and said, The Imam al-Islam is coming, and to whichever, the, uh, to whichever part of the court he arrives, the doors open and the curtains are drawn automatically like by themselves. This thing attracted the attention of all, and if this continues on, the superiority and supremacy of the Imam will become clear and evident to all. Thus, your government will be endangered. But the Wakil at once ordered that the officials must adopt the previous conduct with the Imam and honor him more than ever, and lunatically. The rigid, rough, and harmful attitude of Mutawakal regarding the signs of Imam Ali al Islam went to the extent that he wrote to the governor, governor of Medina, whosoever wishes to help the family of Imam Ali al Islam or visits him, then punish them severely. Mutawakal banished the Imam through one of his officials from Medina to Samra in the year 242-243 after Hijri. 
He accommodated him along with his son, Imam Hassan Asghari al-Islam, in a military camp near his palace and kept him under observation till the end of the, of the Imam's life. This is the very reason why the Imam al-Islam got known by the title of Asghari because Asghar means army or military. Al-Mudawakal, the cruel Abbas Caliph, was very fearful that people were so drawn to our 10th Imam, Imam Ali Raqi al-Islam. He was very upset, upset with the realization of the fact that people were ready to do anything that, the, that Imam Ali Raqi al-Islam would order. Some of the conspirators also gathered around the Caliph and told him that perhaps Imam Ali Raqi al-Islam had the intention of revolt and that they might find some evidence in, in his house. Thus, Matawakal ordered that some of his cruel fellow men to break in and search Imam Ali Naki Islam's house and arrest him in the middle of the night without a notice when all were asleep. Al Matawakal made the decision while he was in a party and was drinking heavily. Al Matawakal's men entered the Imam Ali Naki Islam's house and decided to arrest him first. They found him alone in a room. He had taken the carpet out and was sitting on the gravel of the floor, busy in remembrance of Allah. They searched everywhere and couldn't find everything. Thus, they arrested Imam Ali Naki Alaysam and took him to Al Mutawakka. When Imam Ali Naki Alaysam arrived, Al Mutawakka was at the prime of drinking of his drinking party. He ordered the Imam Ali Naki Alaysam to sit next to him. Then he offered a gra- glass of wine to Imam Ali Naki Alaysam. Imam Ali Naki Alaysam refused and said, "By Allah, never has wine entered my body. Excuse me from it." Al Mutawakal accepted and said, Then sing for us and entertain us with beautiful poems. Imam Ali Naki Alaysam said, I am not interested in poetry and I only re- remember only but a little of the poems of other. Al Mutawakal said, There is no excuse. You must read us some poetry. Imam Ali Naki Alaysam started, They made rising mountains their residence, and they always had armed men guarding them, but none could save them from the attack of death. At the end, they were descended from those hills and placed in a deeply dug grave of misery and humility. At this time, a caller called, Where is that all that glory, crowns, and luxury? Where is the face that knew comfort and hid itself behind silk co- curtains from the gazes of commoner? The graves disgrace them at the end. Those delicate faces are the ground for worms to crawl on. For a long time, they sucked swallowed and drank and ate of the earth, but today they are food for the earth and its past. Mam Ali Naki Alayslam's voice resonated with a deep and affected melody onto the ears of the attendants and destroyed the high of the wine. Al Mutawakil threw his glass away and started crying. Thus was the Abbasid Caliph's Al Mutawakil's party ruined, and the light of truth shone into a diseased heart, even if it were for a fleeting moment. The Imam's Knowledge One day, the Emperor of Rome wrote to one of his caliphs of Bani Abbas that we have read in the Bible that there is one surah chapter of the heavenly surahs which, if read and practiced by anyone upon its content, God will not send that person to hell. You write to me as which one is that surah because we did not find it in the Bible. The Basid Caliph gathered all the wise men and asked them the question, and all of them failed to answer it. The caliph summoned Imam Hadi and put him to and to put put him to that question. Imam Alaysam opened his lip for the reply and said, That surah is Hamd, which is Surah Fatiha, which every Muslim recites a number of times in his prayers at day and night. Then the Imam gave some explanations about it, which surprised and astonished all the wise men. He answered of the Imam was sent to the Emperor of Rome, who, having read it, was much pleased and embraced Islam. The people observed Imam Hadi al-Islam due to his connection with God and the unseen world. Works which were considered to be specimens of God might, might and power. One of the friends of Imam al-Islam traveled from Iraq to Medina, and he had the honor to visit the Imam al-Islam. The Imam al-Islam inquired from him the condition of al was sick and the Abbasid Caliph, and he replied, When I left Iraq, he was fit and fine, and Mutawakal was in prison, and Ibn Ziyad had become famous and well known among the people. Imam al Islam's, after a moment's silence, said, That which is God's will shall take place, and there is no way to stop his orders and commands. O oh, my friend, be aware that Wasik has passed away, and Mutawakal has succeeded him, and Ibn Ziyad 
has been slain upon the behest of Motoroka. I asked, when was it? He said, six days after you moved out of Baghdad. Of Mutawakil's death, Imam al Islam was still in agony, pain, and discomfort till the time he was martyred by Mutaz at the age of 42 and is buried in the land of Samarah.